Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you 20 time saving Excel shortcuts. So let's get started. Ever find yourself needing to add new sheets to your workbook frequently? There's a quick way to do it without reaching for your mouse. Simply press Shift F11 and a new sheet appears instantly in your workbook. Once the sheet is added, you can drag it or reorder your sheets as needed, keeping your data organized. Often you need to jump quickly to the top or bottom of your data. You could scroll, but there's a faster way. By pressing Ctrl down, you instantly move to the bottom of your data range. And when you need to get back to the top, just press Ctrl up. You will find yourself back at the beginning of your data in no time. Suppose you need to add extra rows for new employees or additional columns for more data fields. To add a row, first select a row by clicking on its row number on the left. Once selected, you can press Ctrl plus to add a new row above the selected row. For columns, the process is similar. Click on the column header to select it, then press Ctrl plus to add a new column to the left of the selected column. Imagine you are analyzing data and need to quickly highlight all data above or below a certain point in your data set. Let's say we want to select all cells above this point in the salary column to quickly analyze or format them. Simply hold down Ctrl Shift and then press the up arrow. As you can see, all the cells above selected cell are now highlighted. This is perfect for applying formats, analyzing or even copying data. To select everything below, do the same but press the down arrow instead. This captures all data from your starting point to the bottom of the data set. Let's say you want to add a comment to a cell to remind yourself or inform a colleague about specific details regarding an employee. To add a comment, simply select the cell where you want the comment to go. Then press Shift F2. A comment box will appear where you can type your note. Once you type your comment, just click away from the comment box and the comment will be saved with a small red triangle in the corner of the cell to indicate its presence. Sometimes you may need to remove a comment you have added. Let's go through how to delete a comment efficiently. Select the cell with the comment. Press Shift F10 to open the context menu. Then press M to delete the comment. Imagine you are reviewing or entering data in a column and need to go back up without reaching for your mouse. Instead of clicking each cell one by one to go back up, hold Shift and press Enter. As you can see, each press of Shift Enter moves the selection up one cell, allowing you to quickly navigate and review the data you have just entered or edited. Whether you want to change the appearance of cells, rows, or even entire charts, Ctrl-1 is your go-to shortcut. For example, let's format the salary column to make it stand out. Select the cells you want to format, then press Ctrl-1. This opens the Format Cells dialog box, where you can choose from formatting options such as number format, alignment, font, border, and fill settings. Here, I will update the font color to blue and change the font size to 12. Once you are done, click OK to apply these changes. Excel's ability to repeat your last action with simple shortcut can significantly speed up your workflow. Let's see how this works. Imagine you have just formatted a cell in your data set or you have inserted a new row and want to do the same in several other places throughout your workbook. First, 
I will change the background color of the cell to yellow to highlight it. Now instead of redoing all the steps for another cell, I can use F4 or Ctrl Y. By pressing F4, Excel repeats the last action on the new cell I selected. You can see it's now highlighted in yellow as well. Similarly, if you have just inserted a row and need another one, just press Ctrl Y right after inserting the first. Excel will insert another row immediately. Efficiently managing and analyzing large data sets often requires focusing on specific segments. Let's use the quick filter function to streamline our view. Click on any column header to select it. For instance, you might choose the department column. Press Ctrl Shift L to toggle the filters on. Now you can click the drop down arrow to select specific criteria. For example, filter by the sales department to view only sales employees. And to clear the filters, simply press Alter D followed by F F. Selecting entire rows or columns quickly is essential for formatting, entering or deleting data efficiently. Let's see how it is done. For selecting an entire row, simply click on any cell in that row, then press shift space. Watch as the entire row is highlighted. Similarly, to select a column, Click on any cell within the column you want to select and press Ctrl space. The entire column will be selected instantly. Want to record the date and time for tracking updates or entries in your dataset? Excel offers a quick way to insert these details. Let's start with inserting today's date. To insert today's date, simply click on the cell where you want the date, then press Ctrl semicolon. As you see, today's date appears instantly. This is perfect for logging when data was last checked or updated. For adding the current time, the process is similar. Click the cell where the time should go, then press Ctrl colon. The exact time pops into the cell, ideal for timestamping, specific actions or entries. Organizing your data to be easily readable is essential when working with extensive datasets. Let's quickly adjust the column width to fit the content. Click on the column header you want to auto size. This can be any column that contains data which doesn't fully fit into the current column width. Let's select this column here. Press Alter H to select the Home tab followed by O for format and then I for auto fit column width. This not only makes your data look cleaner but also ensures that no information is visually cut off. Efficiently extending your selection to include all adjacent cells in a row is frequent need in Excel, especially when working with large data sets. Let's look at how to accomplish this quickly. Say you are analyzing data and you start in the middle of a row but need to extend your selection to include all the data to the right or left in that row. To select everything to the right of your current position up to the last cell with data, simply hold Ctrl Shift and then press the right arrow key. Instantly all the cells to the right that contain data are selected. This allows you to manipulate or review data continuously without missing any cells. For selecting cells to the left, use the same combination but with the left arrow. Hold Ctrl Shift and press the left arrow key. All the cells to the left up to the first cell with data are now selected. Sometimes you need to simplify the view by hiding certain rows in your spreadsheet. Imagine you are preparing a report and for time being want to remove some rows from view, perhaps to better display only the relevant data 
during a presentation. To hide a selected row, simply press Ctrl 9. The row will immediately disappear from view, helping you clean up your workspace without deleting any data. To unhide the row, you would typically select the rows above or below the hidden row, right click and choose Unhide. Excel functions are essential for analyzing data, but remembering all the syntax can be daunting. Let's look at a shortcut that simplifies this process. To insert a function, first select the cell where you want the function result to appear. Then press Shift F3. This opens the insert function dialog box where you can search for any function you need. For example, if we want to sum the salaries, we can type sum into the search box and select the sum function. After selecting the sum function, verify the range of cells to apply the function to and press OK. Excel will automatically calculate and display the result in the selected cell. Working with multiple Excel workbooks at the same time is common but navigating between them can be cumbersome if you are not using the right shortcuts. To quickly switch from one open workbook to another, simply press Ctrl Tab. This shortcut cycles through all open Excel workbooks one by one. Whether you are updating data or looking for specific entries, Excel's search and replace function is a tool you will use frequently. To start, Simply press Ctrl F. This opens the Find and Replace dialog box, where you can search for any data within your sheet. In the Find What field, type the text or number you want to find. For instance, if you want to update the department name from Sales to Business Development, we would enter Sales here. After typing Sales, Move to the Replace with field and enter Business Development. Then you can choose to replace one occurrence at a time using Replace or all occurrences in your dataset with Replace All. Excel will replace all instances of sale with Business Development ensuring your data is updated instantly. Proper formatting in Excel is crucial when dealing with financial data. Let's explore how to quickly apply currency format to your data. With the salary column selected, press Ctrl Shift dollar sign to convert the numbers into currency format. This adds the dollar sign to decimal places and properly formats the cell as currency. Instantly you see the salary amount are now displayed with currency formatting making them clear and easy to interpret. Preparing data often requires formatting or extracting parts of it efficiently. Let's use Excel's Flash Fill to automatically fill in data based on a pattern you provide. For instance, if you want to extract first names from a full name column quickly, type the first name of the first employee manually in the new column adjacent to the name column and hit enter. Then press Ctrl E. Excel will recognize the pattern automatically, fill down the rest of the first names for all other entries in the column. And that wraps up our journey through 20 Excel shortcuts. Now I would love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me which of these shortcuts you were already familiar with and share any other shortcuts you frequently use or find useful. Your tips could help other viewers too, so don't hesitate to drop them below. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.